Hey YouTube, what's up? Orange staying back here again. We're gonna do something different for the EPL uh, game of the week. To I'm not playing this time. I'm actually gonna simulate the game between I'm Aston Villa, the home team, against country, Manchester United. And I'm gonna commentate on the actual game itself. Uh, but I'm not playing, so my hands are gonna be here. No controller, no nothing this time around. So let's see how this one goes. And the reason I'm playing this too is even though I play on a hard level, I usually score four or five goals in that game, and sometimes it doesn't really kind of get to the realistic side of the events. This may not work out either, so I'm going to try something. Let me know in the comments if you prefer me playing the game of the week or if you like the simulation for the game of the week. Let me know which one you guys like better. But with the difference now is we have to go through the whole cutscene. I can't cut through them. So a couple of things I don't like about the simulation, let me just call it out. Uh, you're going to see some stars all over the wall, green, and sometimes on my face. It's the new lighting I'm trying out right now. Uh, I don't know if it's going to work out, but I can see on the camera it's already kind of showing up on the face. I edited the line, took Varane off, but the AI put him back in. Varane's injured, so I don't know why he's back in the game. Um, I wished it would not overwrite my changes. That's really the only major concern I have. Actually, let's just see. So I'm okay with that. Mine's Veron. I'm okay with this. I'm okay. I, I actually put Rashford there too, and I had Ronaldo starting off. So they did quite a bit of changes. Um, you know what? I'm going to live with it the way it is. Let's see how the game actually plays this way. I'm not sure why it overrules what I try to do. Um, so I do find that interesting on that side of the fence. So what I do is I try to do the, the changes in settings on the teams, the master team sheet. I go all the way back out, try to go kick off and go here, but we'll see what happens. And the match begins. So Aston Villa gets a kick off. Mings is going to be one of the guys you got to watch out for, obviously, from this team, defensively. Holy Watkins, another guy's got some good strength. We'll, we'll pretend that's uh, Lindelou for Veron. I'm sorry, Lindelou for Maguire for the time being. I I think I may have made the lineup incorrect too. As much as I want to put Ronaldo there, I think it's probably very likely that Martial will get to start this week and if he's healthy. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how that goes in real life. So offside over there. That would never have been offside if it was me playing. You guys know that. Well, fair to say Anthony, last time I played, well Anthony was very slow. I don't know why. So hopefully... Well, oh, nice pass. It's on back here. Oh, wow. United doing some little nifty pass in there. And again, guys, I'm not uh, controlling anything right now. So... Jaden Sancho in real life is not doing it, and in the game when I play my season, he's not doing it. So I don't know, man, what's up with that guy in real life. It's it's odd right now what's going on. Nice nice shot by Erickson there. Good save. I believe Martinez, the goalkeeper for Aston Villa, is going to be the starting goalkeeper for Argentina in the World Cup happening in a couple of weeks. So I think that's an important player. Uh, for them. I don't think they've ever had a superstar goalkeeper. I think he's one of the better ones they've had. I know United's old backup keeper That's used to be the, the goalkeeper for Argentina too. Jaden Sancho. Sancho. That was such an odd shot. A left footer. Wow. I was just shitting on this guy earlier on saying he's not good enough and everything. And miraculously here. Cuts in. Takes his time. Uses a wrong foot left footer, well, pops it in. Not even a hard see, shot. It was just Lots screened properly, I guess, right the there. Had no if you look at Casemiro, I think Casemiro completely blocked the view of that shot from the goalkeeper. Did a little hop over it. I think Martinez was a bit slower to react, and guess what? Mr. Jadon Sancho gets the goal. I do think United is going to win the game. On my community tab, uh, for the people watching, I've actually put a poll on who's going to win the game. And I think United is like 97% that's going to win. So, I mean, and it's like over 300 votes. So, it's a crazy number. It's 96 or 97%, but a lot of people don't see United losing this game at all. So, um, I put three different polls up there. The closest game that I had was Arsenal. Uh, their match was the really, really a 50-50 draw, I call, against Chelsea, so I thought that would... Woo! 
That was bad defending. That, you know what? Even though we're seeing Veron in the game right now, that was a very Maguire like defense finish there. Blockhead style. Well, just look at his strength here. He holds off the challenge. Yeah, overcommitted by. Very overcommitted by Veron. And then no one really tracked to get Coutinho. Coutinho is a winger. So technically, Dalo should have done more. And he should have. Again, I'm talking real soccer. There should be more communication. It's a video game, but. A bit of miscommunication so obviously caused that goal. Following the goal that made things level. I'm liking Rashford's energy right now. Um, I think he's very wasteful in front of net. And I think he's very wasteful in his shot selection. So that's something that he has to learn. And I know a lot of people complain about him blasting the ball all the time. Rather than placing it at times when it's better for him. So again, I don't think he's a striker. I think he's a great well, winger uh, who cuts in. I think that's what he's supposed to be. Situation. Our man on the side of the pitch is oh, oh. oh Casemiro. Really great pass. Like he's Very slow fame. loft like to get Jaden into the, the, the position that he needs to be in. Well played. That, that just shows you the Jeff. class of Casemiro. A really top-notch piece of defending. So United's passing has been better this far. Let's just be honest. Uh, the counter-attack seems to be stronger for Aston Villa, and I think that's the way the game's going to play. So it's really, is United going to be Cash. strong defending the counter-attack? If the answer is yes, they should win Erickson. this game, even though it's 1-1 one, one right now. And uh, if United keep getting caught in the counter-attack and can't defend, well, Villa's got a Beautiful victory here in FIFA 23. That's a pass, baby. Rashford. That was a good accept, but great defending. That's the kind of shielding play you expect from him. Leon Bailey is another rocket they have. There's so many fast players now. These are unbelievable. Alfonso Davies from Bayern. Leon Bailey. And now Coutinho. Um, Anthony is even super fast. You got a lot of speed coming up now. Moving it forward. Fernandez. So Fernandez likes that little flick inside of the foot flick that he's done. Is that twice he's done that one now? Good defending by Delo. Fernandez almost all over the place, almost like in a free Rashford. roam position. Nice hey, speed, nice Rashford. speed. Good goal. I was just talking about the speed. Take a look when he gets the ball. That thrust that he put in, that was clinical. That was a clinical thrust that he had there. Good goal. Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder, and it's a great finish. Boom. He holds off the defender, keeps his composure, and finds the back of the net. It's a marvelous goal. Nice curl on it, too. And, and Anthony does that in real life. He does like to go in, cut in from the right wing because he's left footed. Um, the funny thing is, if you watch me play my career mode with Manchester United, uh, my Tan Hag rebuild on ultimate difficulty, I suck with Anthony's left foot, which makes no sense. After seeing that, it makes no sense why I suck with him. Nice defending by Shaw. Wow. Kept the ball in. Every, he did everything right there. Sancho, good pass. Hernandez is going to probably go. Oh, I thought he was going to go to Anthony. Didn't. Sancho now. Shaw will get the ball. There it is. Shaw. Shaw will go back to Sancho, I think, eventually. Or he'll lose the ball. But they took care of the situation Ooh. defensively. Nice pass, Casemiro. That's a second back heel flick from Casemiro now, too. Wow. So almost at the break. Ooh, good play here. there. Not quite going to plan for the home side. What to do, Stuart? Well, nice. It's been a good game so far, and I love playing, a playing with Casemiro on you there. He's so back good. Into this, they need to be more disciplined defensively. They've just been too open at times. Good, uh, good hold there from uh, Sancho. Sure. Very good hold. Nice. Sancho shouldn't have passed it there. He was oh, he put it away? big save, great header follow and through. Is. That is, is huge, just like that. On injury time, United is going to walk into the locker room with a two goal lead. Pretty damn impressive. Well, here we so far, this is not too different than how I would play. I'd hope it would be zero goals sure against me at this ball. point. I don't know. Just a bit unfortunate, really, that it dropped to an opponent. I mean, Tyrone Mings there should have done a better job. Like, he was right there. He should have blocked out Rashford. It was just position wasn't proper there for that. 3-1. Good half. 
Yeah, someone on my community post actually wrote 3 1 final score for Manchester United. But we got that right now with the half right now, so I don't know how that's going to work out. Oh, there you go. The controller is there, but you won't even see the movements there because I'm not using a controller this time. I do have to use a controller now because I got to get out of the half here. Sancho, Anthony, Rash are the top three have all got a goal. Huge. Coutinho's got one too. There's Casemiro. There's the stats right now. Take a look at United. They got a better dribble success at 93. Possessions on their side. They're dominating the shots. Passing. I mean, every stat's theirs. The only one that you can say that's not good enough is the tackles. One, when you take a look at tackles made. Interception, 7 or 2. Holy crap. So United's doing a lot better. Passing at 93% too. So United's playing really good. They're having a real damn good game. So let's get to the second half. The controller is back down. Hands up in the air, and, the and there goes United. Underway, it really was a dazzling first 45 so what United. changes are going to happen here? The counter-attack was the only kind of offense that you saw from Aston Villa. They got to do more. I mean, they got Ole Queen Watkins. Challenge. They do have ba Leon Bailey in the, the sprint. And they got Coutinho with creativity, so they should Doesn't be doing a lot be more. Him. The attack looks promising. And looks like they're doing better already. Oh, what a pass! That was again poor defending. Varon is not doing good at all. So that injury, even though he's here, look at that. Is he doing a Ric Flair walk? What the hell? I don't think that was a Ric Flair walk. But it was pretty close. Well, as you can see, he's given far too much space, but he still had some work to do, and I think that's Bang. a very tidy finish. It was never in doubt. Philip Coutinho with two goals now. So he is the guy. When it comes to Aston Villa, he is him. For them. So how is United going to respond now? Because that 3-1 was a great lead. He had the insurance marker there, but the insurance marker got wiped away. I haven't seen a lot from Eriks in this game, so that was interesting. Delo's done some good defensive work. Casemiro's done some good defensive and offensive. In a position from which they could potentially Anthony's done good. Obviously, here. he's got a goal. Fernandez has been on the ball quite a bit. He's on right now again. Anthony gets it. Anthony. Rush, rush. I think Anthony should have taken the shot there. I think that was poorly played by the AI. Erickson. Good technique displayed. I'm going to probably go to Fernandez. Yep. Lange. Good pass. Nice. Easy no, that was similar to the shot that Sancho had for the first goal, but different angle and just not as good, obviously, the shot. Casemiro, wow. United looks strong after that goal that went in. It's a fine United move in the making. Ooh, good play there, at least to save it. I thought that was going to be intercepted. Erickson. Casemiro. Precise ball movement. Good shot, wow. That was a good shot by Anthony there. Well played. You see Fernandez had his back towards defense, blocks the defender up like that, held the ball, got it from Casemiro and gave a nice little drop off pass. Anthony and Anthony wired it. Good shot though. Don't do short corners, bro. What is this? I don't like short corners, man. Even in real life, I don't like short corners. Possession changing hands. I know it gives you a different angle, but you have to do... Oh, whoa, whoa. Good goal by Anthony. Another left-footed shot on a different wing there. Is he going to go to Ten Hag and hug him? There it is, buddy. The Ajax connection. Wow. There's the insurance marker again. Well, as you can see, the defending is all over the place. No changes for any team for yet. Attackers. Shockingly enough. Absolutely no chance there. Nice shot. Went strong and true. Oh, yes. This is Unai Emery's opening game for Aston Villa. That's actually pretty cool. They got him in right away. So the Great update from four, FIFA. Two. Ollie Watkins. Oh, wow. That was almost a through. Good well, you pass. Know, they control the ball, as you can see. They've Look at the percentage. Well, My God, Brock. And they've been well worth their lead. Could get even better here. 
It's really going so well. United is absolutely dominating the midfield. Another opportunity. They're toying with the Aston Villa. Well, I have to say, the crowd are right. They need to start winning the ball back higher up the pitch. Diego Delos very far forward. Looking for an opening. Nice, no way. Good save, good goal. Oh man, five to two. This is crazy. I don't think the score will be this high at all. I I, I don't see United scoring this many goals. They could, because when you watch some of their recent games, they get a lot of shots on goal. They're just not clinical. This is a display of a lot of clinical scoring. Like Rashford right here, his second chance was phenomenal. The first goal he had, it was a header after the save was made. So there's a lot of good stuff we're seeing here. It was the first. Oh, Ronaldo comes on. 73rd minute. CR7 is in the game. So Very Ten Hag like substitution. Okay, so how's this going to go through now? So. Okay, so Fred's on for Ericsson too. I didn't see that one. So I think that's a good change. I do that often too in my in my career. I notice the stamina in the game for Ericsson is not that high. And he gets very lethargic and very lazy on the ball. Ronaldo. Nice uh, back heel flick there. Ronaldo is going to do a footwork or what? Nope. Held the ball nicely. Got his players in position. Sancho. Man, like watching sure. this is so clinical. Like the Sancho now. they're pissing the off. Defending. Aston Villa. And I hate when teams pass the ball to United right now. You can't the get it, and the, and the clock just ticks away. Fernandez will get this pass, I think. No. There's Fernandez. Okay, Ronaldo, Casemiro. Oh. Nice pass, what a goal. The Portuguese connection had a couple of back and forth volleys with each other there. The graphics look so odd there. When Bruno had his arm up in the air, you can see the jersey was loose, but he had the band for captain, which should make it tight, and it didn't, so I found that was interesting. Big goal. I would have loved to see Ronaldo score, but Tyrone Mings had the body position perfectly well. It would have worked if Ronaldo did the actual, if he spun off of Tyrone's left shoulder, but he opted for the pass to Fernandez. Fernandez passed it back to Ronaldo. Ronaldo back to Fernandez, and Fernandez scored from that shot he had there. So overall, the play worked. Um, if I was playing, I would have tried to do a spin move on Mings' left shoulder. Look at Dean. Really wow. important piece of last ditch defending. They they don't do well in the offensive here. third all the time. Coutinho is the only one that looks like a threat. Watkins sure. doesn't look like a threat to me at all. Fred with there he is, Frederick. Of course. That is vintage team. Fred. Um I don't know what else to say. That was just vintage Fred. Had the ball, the gave it up. Decided to add on three additional minutes. So we're at injury time, six two. I honestly don't see okay, Leon Billy's coming off. Fernandez comes off now for McTominay. So what does that mean? Like who plays the camp? Don't tell me. McTominay is playing the cam position. That makes no sense. Sure. Like I would have put Fred there instead. Cristiano Ronaldo. Nice. Uh, Ronaldo held it up Malasia. nicely to the body. Tyrell Malasia came on for Shaw. Anthony. It looks like. Well, no, he's off for Casemiro. What the hell kind of switches are these? Tackle, take it away. So that's it, guys. 6 2 Manchester United. I don't think that's going to be a score of the game. I do think Manchester United is going to win. So, overall, I'm happy with the way the game played happened. Uh, Sancho had a good game, which was shocking. Anthony had a phenomenal game with two goals. Fernandez played well. A lot of good play for United. I hope to see that tomorrow. I, I'd like to see Ronaldo start. I just don't see it happening, personally. I don't think Tan Hag will do that. But outside of that, guys, let me know if you like the style of me watching a simulated game and commentating against it versus me playing in the comments. And we'll go from there. But 
guys. But other than that, Orange Stang out. Come back tomorrow for the episode where we go back to our player career mode for Arsenal. And then we switched up every day with our Manchester United career mode, guys. Till then, Orange Stang out. Take care, guys.